We are just a week away from the DLC that is coming to WWE 2K24 and many fans are not thrilled about, but I'm here to tell you guys why you should be excited. I mean, there may be new moves, new entrances. I mean, it can go pretty well. The Post Malone screenshot that they went ahead and showed looks pretty good. I think that the model looks great. As you guys know, 2K never fails with the graphics. So I'm kind of excited for the DLC just to see what they come out with. The Hidden Blade, which is Will Ospreay's in real life finisher, is supposed to be patched in according to some people that have access to those files so that is a pretty cool thing as well i'm not going to show footage of it you guys will see that soon if you guys are on twitter and stay up to date you guys know what i'm talking about i think it is a huge opportunity for 2k to go on ahead do a couple things with these characters they can do it with the pat mcafee pack as well but i think this is a huge win for players who are looking for new moves and things like that obviously we don't pay money for the dlc to just get new moves but in this scenario we're stuck with two bad packs so gotta make some lemonade out the lemons they give you but before we go on ahead and get into these comments and just talk about this dlc i do want to talk about the my faction cards Sami Zayn was added to the card market which i think is a pretty big win for those who want to buy him and get roman reigns i have an issue and that issue is that they are pretty expensive and i was well aware that this was going to happen but they're expensive and what i mean expensive 117,000 vc that is almost 50 bucks for Sami Zayn, which means that you have to buy him to then play in a live event that's not there right now to attain persona card roman reigns and guys I've already said it before, I've explained my feelings with this situation, I think it's a great idea that's just not being executed correctly, and 2K continues to double down, and can I blame them? No, because there are people out there spending 5 to 600 to 7 to 8 to 9, a thousand dollars for The Rock at the time, so I really can't blame them for this. Now, if we as a community collectively didn't let them open up these gates that they have already opened and they already know that they can make money from would have been a different situation at the moment but the community is so big the twitter community x community is a, such a small portion of the people who play the 2k games but i definitely wanted to go on ahead and point this out to you if you want the rock 24 with the tank top kevin owens is also 117,000 vc so both of them are over 200,000 vc together combined that is a lot of money that's a lot of money man and i and i get it you can pull them you can do whatever you want but that is a lot of money and that's something that i don't appreciate as a fan as somebody who spends money promotes talks about this game it's just not fun man and it's gonna continue happening this way i'm glad that they were added to the card market so people don't have to gamble anymore but if you don't want to gamble anymore they're saying hey give us 30 40 bucks and you can get this card but Without further ado, guys, let's go on ahead and get back into the DLC topic. Just wanted to share that with y'all. Post Malone looks great again. I think I'm coming to terms with, you know, the DLC packs are going to be bad. They're not going to be the stuff that we're all thrilled for, like the Global Stars pack that's coming out in September with Jade Cargill, Dragon Lee, Lyra. I mean, I can go on and on and on and on about some of this stuff. Let's go on ahead and get into these comments, see how you guys feel about this dlc and this is from k9 yudo i'm only getting it for honky tonk man and the headbangers so w to you sir you're making the best out of it those are legends those are people that me personally i'm not interested in but i am completely aware that there are people who look forward to using some of these legends there are some people that buy this game to play with legends so at the end of the day man i'm not hating on it play your game enjoy it with the characters have fun with it man honky tonk man and the headbangers i'm kind of excited you know to play with a couple matches with post malone have him job out he literally looks like a created wrestler bro like all the tattoos in the face and everything like that again 2k does a great job graphically with the models and everything like that so it doesn't really surprise me but it did stand out to me so big w by them i think this dlc you just got to make the best of it with the little extra things that they add so you can use them towards other wrestlers and things like that in the game this dlc is f garbage like who tf if you can put those two letters together man this came from fazoo penonymous 3985 hey brother 
<laughs> you're, you're speaking for the rest of us. I'm just trying to be an optimistic person here. But this brother got straight to the point, man. And I cannot disagree too much. These next two packs are not the best packs that in the market. You know, we expect more. So I can't really blame this person for thinking this way. It is truly hilarious. Uh, but uh, yeah, man, I mean, let, let, let's just make some lemonade out these lemons that 2K is giving us. I'm hoping that they spoil us with new moves and entrances. I can't emphasize it enough. I'm really hoping it does work out that way. ADG Wrestling Sports Game Network. It's kind of trash. It's no doubt we should have got some new stars that was at stand and deliver by now. Even Kiana James should have been in as Fallen is rocking the same attire when she was champs with her i don't want to disrespect the legend but we need more main roster talent and we should get it before september the pack plans are trashed hey man i've been a big advocate for nxt talent being in these packs i still feel that a lot of nxt talent is missing this year and a lot of that talent was hot throughout the year i mean you talk about oba femi you talk about lola vice you see people like that kiana james lash legend they didn't make the game and it honestly does you know make me a little bit disappointed shout out to you know modding and those creators who do their thing over there man because they're keeping the game alive for those who want those roster additions over on the pc side shout out to those on community creations the creation suite doing a hell of a job keeping this game up to date with the most that they can do so i do agree with you brother i do think that we need some more nxt talent in this game and just you know those talents that are you know that you see on nxt television every week it's unfortunate that they did not make the cut at least we're getting more and more every year so my hopes are up i think that the roster can be even bigger next year but this year they definitely missed on you know a couple of those wrestlers i can think of a handful off the top of my head show off steve og make sure y'all go subscribe to my boy like his videos like his reels all that man one of the top thumbnail creators in the community but he says i'm glad they are adding celebs who are actually wrestling fans i know that you're a posty fan bro so i ain't mad at you you know what i'm saying i think that this is a w that they're adding you know celebrities that do enjoy wrestling snoop dogg is somebody that comes to mind immediately who i can see being a part of the dlc next year as they always like to get an artist for everything so i do agree with you bro i think that it's cool that we can get those celebrities that actually share an interest in the sport like we had in the past years bad bunny bad bunny this year as well i think it's a win for everybody i think fans are more frustrated at the timing of the pack and the pack coming out back to back with the pat mcafee pack it just doesn't make it look good and i think that's where my problem lies as well personally speaking but we have to see where it goes man i am enjoying these roads to the dlc packs especially the patches that come out every time we were thrilled with the last patch that came out with the cm punk pack so i'm really really interested to see what we can see here uh with this pack you know are we gonna get an update are we gonna get some more add-ons we got weapons last patch i think that this could be a big win for the community especially if it's done right executed correctly and as you guys know every patch they seem to add some pretty cool persona cards they did it with the rock and roman reigns so can they add something a little bit more groundbreaking uh for us here for the my faction i mean listen man just trying to stay as optimistic as possible we have still nine eight months to go with this game and it honestly feels like it's falling off bit by bit so just trying to keep my head up here man but if you guys did enjoy this video make sure to like comment subscribe stay tuned as i will be keeping you guys posted on whatever patches updates come out with wwe 2k24 next week i'm gonna catch y'all peace